Happy Monday, Drew Scholars. Mr. Christian, back to read you today's read aloud. And the read alouds for this week are actually going to be a little bit different. We will not be reading books about fairy tales. We are actually going to be reading about biographies. Now, a biography is a true story about someone's life. Biographies tell about famous people, or they also tell about ordinary people who have done exciting things. Biographies talk about a person's life and how they change the world. Now, the people that we will be learning about this week change the world in a positive way. Some of you have already read or listened to biographies of like maybe Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. or about Rosa Parks, but there are other important people for us to read and learn about because they also made the world a better place for everybody. So the person that we are going to be reading about today is Frederick Douglass. Now, Frederick Douglass was a early civil rights activist, so he did the same work that both Rosa Parks and Dr. Martin Luther King did in making sure that people of color had equal rights, right? So we're going to find out a little bit more about Frederick Douglass. He actually lived before Dr. Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks, so he was fighting for equal rights even before uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks uh, were alive. So let's read this biography. The author is Emma E. Haldy, and the illustrator is Jeff Bain. So let's find out a little bit more about who Frederick Douglass was and how did he make the world a better place. So, my story. I was born in the South. I came from a family of slaves. My mother was taken from me when I was just a baby. My grandmother raised me. I was sent to work in a house. I secretly learned to read. And here's a question. Why is it important to be able to read? What do you think, scholars? What's your answer to that? Why do you think it's important to be able to read? Think about that. I mean, I'm going to share why I think it's important. I think it's important because we read things everywhere in our world. There's words everywhere. And there's important stuff for us to read, for us to understand what we have to do or where we have to go. So that's why it's very important for us to be able to read. I ran away. I found safety in the North. I got married. I started a family. I worked odd jobs. I started telling people my story. I told them why slavery was bad. I became an anti slavery leader. I was famous and respected. Yeah, so it definitely explaining here that he was against slavery. And he started telling people about his own life of how he was born into slavery. Oh, and how you know, he didn't want that for anybody. The question here is, how would you tell people your story? Think about that as well. How would you tell people your story about where you were born, about where you came from, 
what were some good things? Maybe what were some challenges, right? All of our stories are different. And we're going to be continuing our read aloud by finding out what more of Frederick, of Frederick Douglass can we learn about. So he says, I wrote my own story down. I wanted everyone to read it. I printed a newspaper. I asked people to join my cause. So he was also an author as well. He wrote his own book about his own life. America went to war. The South fought the North. The North won. The slaves were freed. But my work was not done. I wanted freed men and women to get equal rights. I kept writing. I kept speaking. I fought for equality until the day of my death. I was an accomplished man. I escaped slavery. I helped win freedom for my people. Here's a question. What would you like to ask me? So we learned that he was born into slavery. He escaped slavery. He used his voice and experience to talk about why slavery was bad. And he wanted to get equal rights for African American people. And he fought hard to make sure that happened. What's something that you would like to ask him? Take a second to think. I would ask him, what was hard during that time to fight for equality? What challenges did he have to go through to make sure that the slaves who were freed got the equal rights that they deserved? And how did he overcome those challenges? That would be something I would ask him. Here it shows us a timeline, which is pretty much showing us like what year he was born, important events in his life, and when he sadly died. So if we start here, this is the year 1800, which was a little more over 200 years ago. That's a pretty long time ago. But Frederick Douglass was born in 1818. 1818. That was 202 years ago. Wow. That's a long time ago. I remember this part of the, of the biography in 1838, which was 20 years later after he was born. He escaped from slavery so he can go up north. And I remember this part where he became an author and wrote a book about his life story, about how he was a slave and how bad it was. And he wrote that 1845 when he was 27 years old. Talked about here the, the, the year he was born. I, I'm sorry, not the year he was born, but the year he died which was 1895. So from 1818 to 1895, he 
was, let's see, let's do math. He was 77 years old when he died. But he had a very meaningful life. He fought for equal rights. He fought to free the slaves. And he is an, an important person that we should know. An important person that we should thank for the work that he did. Because he definitely helped make our world a better place. Let's go over the glossary here. So some books, scholars, some books have a glossary, which is just a page that has the definitions of words. What some of the words mean. So we did see the word equality in this biography. The word equality means the right of everyone to be treated the same without special advantages. That's what the word equality means. You also saw the word slaves. Slaves are people who are owned by other people. Saw the word the North. The North referred to the states in the Northeastern US that did not have slaves. So in the biography, Remember, Frederick Douglass said that he escaped to the north where there was no slaves. There was no slavery. But when he was a slave, he was in the south. And in the south, those are the states in the southeastern U.S. that supported slavery. So in the south, for slavery was happening. This is our glossary that has the definitions of words in a book. Books also have this thing called an index. An index tells you the page number of a specific word or idea that you can find in the book. So let's look at this word, for example. This work is anti-slavery. If I wanted to find that word anti-slavery in this book, I would go to page number 12. Let's see, let's go back to page number 12. So I'm page number 12, and the word anti-slavery is right there. Oh, right here, anti-slavery. Yeah, so some books have a glossary and they have an index for you, the reader, to know where certain words are or what certain words mean. So I hope you enjoyed today's Read Aloud. I know it's a little bit different. And tomorrow we're going to be reading about someone else that made a positive change in our world. So I'll see you tomorrow.